Clemens Centrum will now demonstrate the injection training for Purigon. Purigon is administered using a pen which looks like this. The pen is made up of three parts. The medication can be found in a separate box. Here you can see a box with 300 units. The medication itself is in a glass vial. Additionally, you will find needles in the box which should be changed daily. Now I will show you how to insert the vial into the pen. The metal cap should point forward and is inserted into the yellow part. The pen is then screwed shut with the blue part. The injection needle, which should be changed daily, is screwed on clockwise. The protective caps are then removed until the needle is exposed. In order to set the units, turn the button at the top until you reach the desired dosage, in this case 100. You should see the mark between the two yellow lines, then the pen is ready. If you turn the button too far and thus have too many units, please do not turn the button back. This would mean you lose part of the medication. Turn the button until it stops and then return it to zero by pressing all the way down. Now you can set the units again. For subcutaneous injection, the following areas of skin are convenient. A fold of skin on the abdomen or on the thighs. It is not necessary to disinfect the injection area, but it can of course be done if no skin irritations occur. Take the skin fold between forefinger and thumb, set the pen and press the needle into the skin, then press down the button. Once the injection is finished, the skin fold can be released and the pen removed. Afterwards, place the cap on the needle and with its help, unscrew the pen. The pen should then be placed in its box and returned to the refrigerator.